Hello everyone, in this video I am going to be uh, showing you how to view percentage change over um, specific time periods using Street Smart Edge from Charles Schwab. Um, so as you can see right now, I actually have the percent scale up right over here on the left. Um, so the percent scale will move based on, so right down here you can see I, I'm moving um, where I'm looking at the chart and the percent scale zero will always go to where the open was for the time period you're looking at. Okay, so no matter where I move this to the left, zero is always going to be um, wherever it opened. Okay, so anyway, if you want to uh, turn on the percentage scale, so you need to go over here and make sure that you're not in a streamline view. So you need to pop it out so you can see these settings. Let's go to the settings. Um, and then go to the settings tab okay then you are going to see it right here towards the top okay how it says show percent scale so if i turn that off as you can see it goes away and i turn it on and it comes back okay so not only does the does that uh pull up the percent scale over here but it actually pulls up this which i don't know if you notice so look up here um where it says mgi okay and if I turn off the percentage scale, that goes away as well. Because what that is showing is the percent change from, and this is how it works. There's two different things it can show you. If my cursor is on the screen, okay, whatever candle it is above or below, okay, that's showing me the percentage change that that candle is from the opening over here, okay? So this candle right here, this green one, is negative 2.75% from the very left part of my screen. Okay, so that's what that shows you. If you don't have your cursor on the screen, right? So I just took my cursor off the screen. Now, it automatically jumps to where the price is at right now. So the price right now is 3.48% above where it is all the way to the left. Okay, great. So now hopefully you understand that. Um, there's a couple other things I'm going to show you um, if you'd want, like to uh, stick around and get some extra info. So you can change the location of the price scale. This is the price scale here on the right. And if you move it to the left, then your percentage scale, scale will show up on the right. And, um, you know, you might uh, want to use that. I personally, a lot of times I will keep it on the right. Um, and here's another cool thing. Or actually, oh, and something to note, okay? Sometimes you'll have weird candles like this one, okay, where it's just way out of whack and, you know, so you want to get rid of it so that you can actually see the scale, how it should look, which is more like this, okay? So then what you have to do is you actually have to turn off the percent scale, which is, you know, then you can't see the percent change, but at least that candle won't just mess with your, with your view when you're looking at it. So if we do, if we turn off the percent scale, then that big, large candle, um, goes away so we can look at it normally. Um, but most of the time you won't have to use anything like that necessarily. Um, but yeah, I, I just turn it on and off when I need it. Most of the time I have it on. Um, and another thing that you can do is you can actually adjust the um, percent scale and uh, then you can get a better view of, you know, say that the price right now is where it is so like 180 187.50 okay and you want to know how if it goes up like three percent or whatever where is it going to be so let's move this all the way over to where it is now and now i'm going to move the percent scale so right now the percent is at zero which is where the price is right now okay and i want to adjust this to see where i would need to be for um where the price would need to go for how much percentage so if I go down, as you can see, it's telling me how much percentage I am um, adjusting this scale by. So if the price needs to go up 10%, okay, then it has to go to about um, right here at 206, okay, and that would be about 10%. And as you can see, now I can adjust this back to zero and zoom out. So there we go. Um, yeah, hopefully you understand. Uh, most of what I'm saying, I might not be explaining it the best, but yeah, that's how it works. That is how you can um, see the percent change over periods of time. Um, and as I said, if you move this um, chart, right, it's going to adjust your percent scale.
based on the leftmost part, okay? So based on the first candle that shows up and the last candle on the right. So there you go. Hopefully this video was um, useful. And uh, if it was, you know, might as well drop a like. So anyway, good luck with your trading and uh, have a good one, everybody.